me people I'm back with another video and today I have a Melody Susie review for you all um, they actually reached out to me and wanted me to review some of their products and of course I said yes because I have been dying to try some of the Melody Susie products and so yeah y'all I'm gonna hop right on into what they sent me um, first they actually sent me some press-on nails which y'all know I have absolutely been loving me some press-on nails these days um actually the set that I have on right now are press-on nails so I do have a full tutorial to these as well I'm gonna link them in the description but yeah let's take a look at these it looks like they sent me like some Aurora um ombre nails so let's take a look and see on the back it has the instructions of how to use it as well and so let's see what we got here Ooh, these are really pretty okay so it comes with um some nail adhesive tabs a file uh alcohol wipe and a cuticle stick which is pretty standard with most press on nail kits it doesn't actually say how many nails it comes with but i'm assuming it's enough to at least make one set and it looks like these are, it looks like they're kind of like medium to long coffin nails. They're really beautiful though. It looks like it has like a chrome powder on top of it, like a fairy kind of chrome. So yeah, these are really pretty. They're nice and sturdy. So the cuticle area is nice and thin, which is nice because it lends to a more natural look. Wow, it even sits real nice and natural over top of my, the nails I have on now. But yeah, that's just kind of an idea of what they might look like. They're really cute. And let's take a look here at the tip. The tip is nice and sturdy as well. So yeah, I'll be really excited to play around with these. I feel like they're gonna fit my nail beds just perfectly. So yeah, so I got these. And then they were also kind enough to send me over one of their gel polish kits. So um, yeah, I recently discovered that Melody Susie carries gel polishes. You know, I really know them for like their nail drills and their dust collectors and their nail lamps. So it's kind of cool to see that they have gel polishes and even press on nails. So this kit comes with 24 gel polishes and then I'm guessing like base top coat etc. Um, first let's get a moment for this packaging. It is really really beautiful. It's very festive. It kind of is giving me like fall vibes. Let's open this up here. Ooh, Look at all these polishes. So yeah you get a nice array of different colors. It even looks like there's some temperature changing color ones in here. Is this temperature changing? That'd be kind of cool if it is. Oh no, it's like a pearly, it's like a pearly pink color here. Okay. Oh wow. And y'all, these bottles are so freaking cute. Do you see this? Oh, they're so adorable. For the longest, I avoided getting kits like this because I was like, what am I gonna do with these little tiny, you know, bottles of polish? But these are actually really adorable, okay? So yeah, these come in like a five ml bottle. The texture of the polishes feel really nice so far. They're kind of a medium consistency. And then let's see what the four items are that they gave. So it comes with a base coat, a second base coat, a top coat, and a matte top coat. So that's the plus four here. So this is a pretty all-inclusive kit here. Um, I'm not gonna go through and open each one up because I feel like that would just take forever to do. Oh wow, that is pretty. Wow, do y'all see this? Oh my goodness. It's like this beautiful pearly. It's a beautiful pearly peach color with like these gold glitters in them. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Mm, I think I'm gonna like this collection. They got a mustard yellow color in here. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and play some music and I'm just gonna swatch these for you guys here on camera. But honestly, I think I'm gonna swatch this color right here because it's just so freaking stunning. So this is the color H29. I'm just gonna swatch that really quick here on camera with you guys just to see the opacity of it, you know? Well, that's pretty. Wow. That's really nice. It looks really opaque too. That's nice coverage. Very nice, very nice. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go through and speed through me swatching the rest like this and I'll be right back. Okay, happy people. So as I am swatching this collection, I just wanted to pop in and let you all know my thoughts on these gel polishes. As you can see, they are very opaque with one coat of coverage. All of the swatches that I'm showing you all right now is just one coat of coverage and the application was really smooth. 
really creamy, really flawless. Um, I'm very impressed with these polishes actually. Um, dare I say it, I feel like they're kind of comparable to Madame Glam in a sense with um, just the creamy formula and um, not being too thick, not being too thin with such a smooth application. I had a really great easy time working with these. So yeah, I just wanted to hop in and give you guys my thoughts on the gel polishes as we're watching this beautiful collection be swatched. Melody Susie was kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys. So if you all are interested in getting any of these polishes or any of their collections, you can use code ROSE12. I'll leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box in the event that you all decide to shop their website. And then also um, I have gotten requests um, from my lovely happy family to go live on my channel and I just wanted to let you all know that that is in the works I recently just got some new equipment um, that I'm going to be using um, to just kind of get my space ready to be able to go live um, just making sure the angle lighting things like that is right so yeah y'all stay tuned to the channel for that that is definitely coming soon I'm thinking that for my lives, maybe we can do like some swatch parties. I have a lot of gel polish collections that I need to swatch. So I was thinking it might be kind of cool to go live and do some swatch parties with you guys. So let me know what you all think about that down in the comments and also in the chat. Um, so we can figure out what I'm going to be doing when I go live with you guys. So exciting. So this is what the entire collection looks like with two coats of polish and a top coat. Let me know which color is your favorite from the collection. So yeah, y'all, these are all of the colors in this collection. I am gonna go ahead and take this set off and decide what design I wanna do next, so I'll be right back. Okay, happy people, I am back, and I've decided what look I want to do. So I actually did something a little different with how I decided to do this set over on my Instagram page. If y'all aren't following me, you definitely should be. I did actually post some uh, polls in my stories to see what you all wanted to see from me. And so you all wanted me to do acrylic nails, like 100% of you all said you wanted to see me sculpt my nails with some acrylic. For my nail length, I had short, medium, long. 58% chose medium, so I'll be doing medium nails. For the shape, um, it was a close call for the shape. It was square, coffin, and stiletto. 45% chose stiletto. And in regards to the colors, I listed orange, yellow, and red, and 68% said use them all. Now, in regards to the colors, I'm gonna start with that one. I didn't realize that this kit did not have a red. In place of the red, I did choose um, this kind of neon pink color. Here is the yellow, and then I, I honestly thought this kit had like an orange orange in it, but it kind of had like a coral color. The coral is close to orange, so that's what I'll be using. Next time I do my polls, I'll make sure that the colors that I'm actually choosing from are actually the ones that <laughs> I'm trying to use in the video. But um, that was my first time doing that and it was a lot of fun. So let me bring this creation to life for you guys. So I am going to be going in with some new stiletto tips that I got from Amazon. I'm super excited to try these out. Um, and I am going to... I'm going to go ahead and prep my nails off camera just to save a little bit of time. I do have a dedicated video coming that's going to show how I do this process. So I went ahead and prepped my nails off camera. Now they're ready for my acrylic application. I am going to be going in with the Koopa Clear. Um, I just realized I've never scoped my nails with clear acrylic before so I figured I would give, give it a try. I recently got this and so I wanted to see how it worked. Um, I have clear encapsulated with this before and it is really good. Um, I'm also going to go in with my Young Nails Monomer. And um, I do have my new acrylic brush, y'all. So this is from Joss Love. Um, in my last acrylic video, I mentioned that I'm ready to kind of upgrade my brush a little bit. So this is just one step further to having a, a higher end um, acrylic brush. So I'm gonna see how this works for application. But once I feel like I've graduated from this brush, I'm gonna go ahead and start using my Young Nails. Um, brush that I got in my ultimate pro kit. So for those who've never seen me do acrylic application I do saturate my brush with some monomer. I tap off once to the side and then I bounce into the acrylic powder three times So one two three I pick up a small bead typically what I do is is I start with my bead here where the nail meets the tip Let me zoom out a little bit here, Like so and then I kind of just work that area first like so, and then I start dragging the product down the base of the nail, like so. So again, I'll tap my brush into the monomer, bounce, 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 pick up a nice size bead, and then I'll just set the bead down, just kind of slowly making my way back to the cuticle area 
to build up the structure of the nail. Like so. Okay, I'm not too mad at this brush. And this acrylic seed is really easy to work with as well. Try to get it nice and tight to the cuticle. Liking this cuticle clear. I'm gonna just a little bit here at the cuticle area just to try and tighten it up just a little bit more. Like so. I think I am touching the cuticle at this point. That's alright. And then just slide down. Like so. I will say the brush is not good for trying to get into that cuticle area though. I'm gonna just take a tool here to try and clean my cuticle because it's touching it like so. And there we go. And I'll just try to mold that into place here. with that all right so this is the first nail that's been applied I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how that looks the apex looks pretty good and I like the shape I like the shape I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more acrylic actually right in this area just to make sure when I go to file I don't start filing away at the tip okay just a little bit more just right here and that's just really just building up the thickness of the nail so I really like this Koopa acrylic. It seems really nice to work with. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm happy with this nail. Y'all see that? Yeah, she giving though. She giving. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next nail here. So for the middle nail. I'm gonna repeat the process. So again, I'm gonna dab into my monomer, tap off on the side, bounce, bounce, bounce to pick up a bead of acrylic. And then I'm gonna go in right here where the nail tip meets the brush and then just try to get that flattened out like so. And then once I kind of have it there, I'll just swipe down. Okay, happy people. I was much, much happier with my acrylic application this time around. I feel like I'm actually starting to get the hang of it. Um, so now you see me just um, applying more beads to this middle nail and just sculpting the nail out. Um, I apply as big or as small of a bead as needed um, to build up the structure and shape that I want. I feel like this time around I didn't make my apex too high, which I was really happy about. Um, and then I'm also just trying to make sure I don't make the nail too thick overall in general. Um, I did find working with this Koopa Clear Acrylic um, very easy. Um, the consistency of it is actually kind of interesting once it interacts with the monomer. It kind of is almost rubbery in a sense, but um, it's very, very easy to work with and very easy to maneuver. When you're applying your acrylic, also um, don't be afraid to look at your nail from different angles to see where you need to apply additional product. Um, so as you can see, I turned my nail in every which way um, to one, make it as comfortable as possible to apply the acrylic and two, see the extra areas that needed more acrylic. So I was really happy with the shape of this nail. Okay, nail number two look good. I'm mad at it. On to the next one. I wanted to slow the process down again really quick. I saturate my brush for monomer and tap on the side of my dappin dish. Then I bounce into my acrylic. I do three bounces, pick up the bead, then set it down on the nail. I typically tend to work from the back of the bead first, just trying to um, get it to lay as flat as possible. And then I'll go ahead and swipe down on the front of the bead, um, getting it to be level with the nail. 
and y'all i actually shocked myself with how fast i was able to sculpt these nails so the first two nails that i showed you all i was able to sculpt them in four minutes these last two nails i'm about to show you all only took like a minute minute and a half to do per nail and i was like really shocked so um my whole hand took about 15 to 20 minutes to do which was pretty impressive for me this is my third time applying acrylic to my nails and I'm really loving the process y'all I'm having so much fun with acrylic application and so um, those of you out there who are still practicing with acrylic just learning how to do acrylic keep at it and don't give up I promise you it does get easier um, I know it might be a little bit difficult in the beginning and it might not seem like you know progress is being made but just keep practicing and I promise you'll get it because I'm even sh I'm shocked that I did it <laughs> okay Here I'm just admiring the shape of my nails because I was still in awe at the masterpiece. Here's an hour and a half later I actually had to go and take care of something in the middle of doing this set and I noticed that there was a piece of the acrylic on my skin. When I pulled it away from my skin I noticed that the acrylic was still kind of like a it was like a rubbery texture like it hadn't set all the way which I thought was really interesting so I just I left that in I just wanted to show you all that I'm thinking it has something to do with the acrylic that I used um, but it didn't harden after an hour and a half which was pretty interesting but um, the nails themselves did feel like they set this is what the nails look like after my acrylic application I don't think I did too bad you all just saw in that clip previously where like separated some of the acrylic that got on my skin and I noticed it was still kind of gummy so that's interesting that it, it has that consistency right here so I am going to go ahead and just try and flake that, that off but I'm shocked that this didn't harden um, with the rest of the acrylic so yeah um, I am going to go ahead and file shape and buff my nails now all right y'all so let's take a moment for the shape what do y'all think about the shaping on this set I feel like I did really good I feel like the apex isn't too big and the nails aren't too flat so I'm excited with this and this actually took me 17 minutes to do you guys so these four nails took about 17 minutes maybe total maybe 20 total and then I did the thumbnail so all together was 30 minutes to apply this I'm not mad at that so I have my dust collector here actually one of my nail sisters gave a really cool hack about this um, about protecting your filter which is using a dryer sheet um, on top of it and then when you're done you can just throw the, the dryer sheet out um, so shout out to you Tiffany darling I, I appreciate that little hack you shared there let's go ahead and crispen up the shape of the nail here Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my e-file. I am going to use my favorite drill bit for debulking, which is this 5-in-1 carbide bit. I am going to speed through most of this process, and I do have a dedicated video on how I shape acrylic nails. So I am going to leave that link in the description box in case you guys want to check that out. And I'm using my drill at 10 RPM. As I am filing, I wanted to share what helped me with my acrylic application. It was practicing on swatch sticks. Anytime I purchased new acrylics, I would swatch them on top of my swatch sticks. And that was to allow an opportunity of me to practice what it would be like applying acrylic to my actual nail. And I must say that has helped me tremendously because now when I'm going in to do my nails, it's really like I'm, I'm laying my acrylic on my swatch sticks. And typically when I put my acrylic on swatch sticks, I'm able to apply it typically with two beads, depending on the acrylic. I do think that once I progress along in my acrylic journey, I'll be able to sculpt an entire nail with two to three beads of acrylic, which is definitely gonna to lead to a faster application time. So if you all are purchasing new acrylics or if you already have acrylic, to get better at it, just take out some of your old acrylics that you have, especially like an old jar of acrylic that you might have that may be clear and when you don't care about you know using too much of, and just practice on your swatch sticks, practice on you know false nail tips, just practice, practice, practice it will get easier
All right, you guys, so this is what it's looking like after it's been filed, shaped, and buffed. I am very happy, very satisfied with the shape of this. Um, the apex, I feel like, isn't too big on the nails. I feel very happy with my acrylic application, y'all. And overall, I'm very happy with my apex. It's not too big. Um, it's not too small. I feel like it's just right. So I feel like my acrylic application is getting a lot better you guys So that's really exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my base on all of the nails here And I'm just curious too when I apply this base how clear these this clear is going to be So I'm going in with the clear base coat that came with the with the uh, gel polish kit And let's see what it's looking like here Yeah, y'all. The clear is pretty clear. I will say it looks like it has like micro air bubbles in it, but that's a pretty darn clear to me, you know? What do y'all think? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply base coat to all the nails first. I'm not mad at it one bit. Okay, so I have decided what design I'm gonna do um, based off the pole. I'm gonna do yellow on my index, middle, and pinky. And then I'm gonna do coral on my ring finger. Yeah, I really like these gel polishes. They're really easy to work with. They're nice, they're creamy, and very opaque. Okay, so this is what one coat of coverage looks like. I am gonna do the second coat off camera. So I ended up going in with three coats of the yellow and two coats of the um, 404 color. And so next, I'm actually gonna try my attempt at sideways croc nails. Um, I was playing around with some different nail art designs and I thought this would be absolutely beautiful to do. So that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. Um, I'm gonna go in with my McCart Blooming Gel. I recently got this in the July Your Nail Lab box. Thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys how to do like a sideways croc on a nail. So what you need is the Blooming Gel, You'll need a dotting tool and then your gel polish choice of color. I'm gonna be going in with 409, so that nice hot pink color. And so you'll wanna do a thin layer of the blooming gel all over the nail. And you'll take just a little bit of the gel polish on your dotting tool. And essentially what you'll wanna do is create some lines on the nail. So let's see, I'm gonna go through and do from this side like that. Like that, like this, like so, like so, okay, and the tip as well. Like it looks good, but I think I'm gonna try it again. So if you happen to mess up like I did, it's not exactly what I'm wanting. Just go in with a little bit of alcohol. I'm just gonna spray the nail with alcohol here and just wipe it off, like so, okay. And then you'll just try it one more time. So I'm gonna go in with that blooming gel again. I'm gonna take my dotting tool, put a generous amount on here. And I guess I need to make shorter triangular looking pieces like this. Okay, yeah, I'm liking how that's looking. Ooh, that's pretty and fun. This is pretty and fun. All right, I like how that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Yeah, I like how that turned out, how fun. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the ring and pinky finger. Alrighty, this is how everything is looking so far. I'm really loving how that croc color, how the croc neon pink spread on that yellow. Like, that's so cute. Um, so now I'm gonna go in and do some bling placement. I am gonna go in with these rhinestones from Amazon, as well as these rhinestones that I got from Shein. I already have my bling placement ready to go. I'm gonna go in with the McCart rhinestone glue. I've been really enjoying this. This also came in the July Your Nail Out box as well, so. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my ring finger here. And I found that with this this rhinestone gel, a little bit goes a long way. Um, when I, I used it for the first time on this hand here, and I just used way too much. So just use a thin amount, spread it out with the nozzle, and then place your gems where you want them to be, like 
like so. This one's kind of heavy. No. There we go. All right, y'all. So as I am placing my bling, I just wanted to give another special thanks to my growing happy family. We have hit 2000 subscribers and I just want to give a heartfelt, sincere thank you to each and every last one of you all. This journey would not be possible without you constantly showing up every day, showing love, showing support, commenting, sharing everything. I just, I appreciate every last one of y'all and I love just like interacting with y'all in the comments. You make me feel like I'm the luckiest person in the world having such a supportive and happy family behind me. So again, thank you all so much. Um, I am going to be doing my next giveaway on the channel at 3,000 subscribers so definitely stay tuned. Um, I also hit 500 uh, followers on Instagram. I'm going to be doing a giveaway over there next week. I should be making that post so definitely make sure you're following me over there for details on how to enter. So this is how the nails, this is how the nails are looking so far. I am absolutely loving it. So I do feel like this nail is like missing something. So I did go through my collection and I found these really cool gold bars. So I think I'm gonna put that at the cuticle area and I think I'm gonna just adhere it with top coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and top coat all the nails and go ahead and apply my little gold bar. And I think we'll be all done here, y'all. All right, you guys, say it with me. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how this set turned out. Do y'all feel the croc vibes? Like, yes, they are here. I love the fact that it's like a summertime mani with that croc vibe to it, okay? Like, yes, and do y'all see the bling? Do you see the bling? Yes, I'm really liking these rhinestones that I got from Amazon. Let me know what you guys think about my mani down in the comments. I am here for it. Um, th again, this was my first time shaping and sculpting stiletto nails with acrylic, and I feel like they turned out really good. There was a little bit of bulkiness to the nail, I feel like, simply because I had to do three layers of the gel polish then I put on a layer of blooming gel then I put on a layer of top coat for the croc nails but I feel like for the um, ring finger and the thumb I feel like they didn't turn out as thick which I actually really liked so yeah y'all let me know what y'all think about this or all my thoughts on the Melody Suzy gel polishes I actually really enjoyed working with them you guys they are of a higher quality um, on the spectrum of just like you know regular everyday gel polishes I mean they're low-key kind of comparable to Madam Glam in a sense. Um, they're really opaque, really smooth, easy to work with. So I do recommend them. So if you all want to get your hands on them, I'll leave them. Link down in the description box below. I don't know if I have a discount code or not. If I do, I'll leave it on the screen and down below. Um, but if not, then um, definitely just feel free and shop their um, polishes because they actually are really good. Um, I'm here for the Manny. Summertime is here, okay? If y'all are feeling this Manny right now in the comments and in the chat, Leave me yellow and pink hearts all up and through there, okay? I am absolutely loving this. All right. <laughs> and if you all are curious about the mani that I have on here, I'm going to be posting the video to this look next week. So definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye